Tonight we're at the magnificent Guildhall and we're here to celebrate the Women in Defence Awards 2019. The quality remains incredibly high for the entries. 474 this year, that's more than ever before. Diversity offers not just a, a numbers game, but it's about diversity of opinion, diversity of approach, which is good for business, it's good for the sector, and it's good for the nation. This is probably the event where you get to meet the best cross-section of people from defence, from the most junior person to some really senior people. But they all care about diversity in defence, and that's fantastic, and there's a wonderful atmosphere as a result. It is important to ensure that the talents and capabilities of everyone in the defense community is appropriately recognized and rewarded. It makes a meaningful difference to how we achieve the outcomes for defense and how we get completely different thinking in with a diverse team that can look at problems in a different way. Our slogan this year is deeds, not words. I am proud that the awards themselves have in some way become a deed more than just a word. Tonight is not only a celebration of those ladies, but also a celebration of how far women in defence have come. It's time to turn to the main part of the evening, the awards ceremony. So, the winner is Surgeon Lieutenant Commander Ruth Guest. There's a competition for resources, there's a war for talent. And we know that a huge amount of that talent lies within the female population. We want that diversity in our business, we want that input in our business, and we're excited to be part of these awards. And the winner is Philippa Spencer. The business challenge for the future uh, for the defence sector is how do we maintain the UK Defence Forces military capability leading edge. To be successful in that venture going forward, we're going to have to harness the best of the breadth of all skills available to us in the UK and globally. And the winner is Wing Commander Tony Hall. We know that successful partnerships are built on working together towards shared aims. So an award that recognises the importance and impact of collaboration is a perfect match for our businesses. And the winner is Warrant Officer 2, Kay Howells. It's about having diversity of thought, diversity of leadership, and in so doing we get the best outcomes and decisions made. And as an operational commander, that means we maintain our competitive advantage. And the winner is April Wiles. Gender balance is crucial for the Army, not only to enable us to be the best, but enable us to be the very best that we can and to represent more faithfully the society and the nation that we serve. And the winner is Anne Kenson. There's a massive talent pool of female business leaders, female engineers and female apprentices, both early careers and later on in career, who look at defence as a male-oriented environment. Um, and we've got to break down those barriers of business leaders and military leaders. And the winner is Chief Technician Paula Sill. Striving to improve gender balance is a part, key part of what we do at Dell. Uh, we recognise that we can have greater business impact, greater social impact by having more diversity of all sorts and gender is just the start of that. I got the eye of the and the winner is Jeanette Pope. So we at Atos are really proud to be part of this fantastic event, recognising the awesome contribution that our women working across defence make. Women in Defence, we are proud of you. You are an inspiration. And the winner is the EU Exit Virtual Tour. The Royal Air Force is extremely proud of its relationship with women in defence. 
We are also delighted to sponsor the inclusive teamwork category, which fully resonates with the values and ethos of the Royal Air Force. I got the eye of the tiger. And the winner is Starship. We've really got to develop innovative teams and innovative cultures that drive that innovation in our solutions. And that can only be done with a diverse culture and an inclusive culture. It's time now for the final award of the evening, Woman of the Year 2019. And the winner is Philippa Spencer. I'm completely bamboozled, to be honest. Um, <laughs> Ten years ago, uh, an event like this didn't exist and there should be more of these kinds of constructs to encourage women into our defence enterprise because we do great things. <laughs> this time last year, I didn't know what on earth we were going to do to better 2018. I think we've done it. The finalists and winners were inspirational yet again. So, yeah, 2019 is going down as a fantastic year. But we do have to think about 2020.